Mannheim's granddad. Hello everyone and welcome back. After a good sand and a real good clean up, it was time to start painting the bell. Is that good in there? Yeah, it's uh, quite nice. I have a nice <laughs> slim leg as you can get them into most little tiny spaces. Comfy, yeah. Quite nice. These little uh, rain shields, weather shields, aren't they? Well, I think that some people call them eyebrows. Eyebrows. They do, yeah. Um, they're really hard to get covered, aren't they? Yeah. Um, every yeah. time you think you've done it, you notice a little space that you haven't. So just a fiddly little bit to work on. little hole is the um, hole that we made for the breather for the water tank so we've taken that out so we don't have to try and paint around that um, so that's why we had left the the wall in the bedroom um, unfinished, really. unfinished yeah it was just sort of like put there it hasn't been attached up so that bit of wood that you keep seeing hanging down near the door that's the it's not, it's not <laughs> bad joinery it's just not finished yet <laughs> yeah it's the it's the wall that's come down. <laughs> Although this is just the first coat of top coat, uh, we decided that we'd use a roller and lay off with a brush on every on every coat really. The same as we did with the sides of the boat. And it uh, seemed to work out better because you don't have to, you still got to sand it before your final top coat, but it uh, saves a lot of the sand and there's not so many lines in it and bobbles it and stuff. It just makes it a bit flatter, doesn't yeah, it? So yeah, for the next coat and the next coat, so yeah. yeah. coach lines on the front of the bow we're going to mimic the shape that's on the stem so on the very nose of the bow so that curve we're trying to keep that same curve for the coach line Can't see it. He's in his element again, measuring, double measuring, measuring again, just for luck.
paint on the same as how we've done on most of the boat. Um, sort of where the tape is, trying to sort of like start the paint on top of the tape and bring it away from the tape, just to help stop any um, paint being pushed under the tape. Um, you do get, get the occasional bleeds and you also get some of the tapes left stuck on or the glue stuck on. So doing it this way, it just sort of like helps avoid it and then um, sort of lay, lay it off to get it nice and flat and the brush strokes all even. brushes that we're using again we've put away the purdy brushes now and we're using these brushes from B&Q um, they're just their good home range and they're really good Just been marking out where we want different patterns on on here. You can see there's going to be a heart there. I'm going to try and get a coat of first coat of uh, blue on. I hope the rain holds off today. We did three coats of top coat on the side of the boat, but when it came to the bow, we, we made a decision we we're going to do four four coats of top coat. Um, the reason being, we've decided, well, we, we think that it's going to get quite a lot of wear on there, standing on there and walking on there. and Bashed a bit. Bashed a bit, <laughs> bashed a lot, <laughs> things like that. So I know we can't be too precious about it when we get in the water, but yeah, just to give it a... A bit more thickness there and a bit more durability that's all yeah also we're doing the same as how we've done it on the sides um, the tape is stuck on to the undercoat so we're doing the blues and greens but when we do the coach lines um, under that tape we'll be building up the four layers under that tape as well so the green the duck egg and the blue will all sort of have the same amount of layers and be the same thickness. Yeah, I'm just painting some blue on the side of that heart. Um, this is a bit of an experiment really to see whether we want to keep a small bit of blue on that side. Um, we later change that. Oh, you look nice in that blue top aid. Look at that, it's all matching in. We've had some amazing weather in England this year. Um, some days have been far too hot to paint and then we've had some downpours of rain. But the majority of days has really enabled us to, to keep the painting going 
um, and we're really glad we've been we've left it to this time to do yeah. it. It's been a good time to do it. Yeah. Once you get the first coat on and stand back, you can see where you've done little mistakes, and here you could see that that side was a lot higher than than the other side. So we've just changed the tape a bit and brought that down. So on the next coat, we'll fill that up. Um, same on the heart as well. The heart just didn't look quite right. The shape was too fat. So um, yeah, so we'll fill that in on the next coat. So we put a black undercoat on that to see if we liked it black, but we didn't. So we've top coated it with blue, rubbed it down. Do we need to mask a line on this or not? Shall I be doing that now? Mm. She's concentrating on getting that, the upstand done while I'm doing that. We was that eager to get the blue paint on, we forgot to tape up all the bits. So this is just the water filler. Um, so it's right in the middle of the bow and dead easy to use. So now once that's covered up, we can uh, finish the paint. We've got all the top coat on the heart now and we've definitely decided that we're not keeping the blue at the side of the heart. Um, we wasn't having that originally but we thought let's just see how it'll look. No, I but, did it. Yeah. It wasn't under instructions. <laughs> no, I painted it on but you was the one who made the decision to yeah. try and see whether we wanted a bit of blue on there but we don't. No. Do we, Aid? No, dear. So we're going to have diamonds inside the heart. Yeah. <laughs> it, it looks a bit boring, just the heart. So we're going to uh, mimic the diamonds. Um, I was a bit worried at first that it was too many diamonds, but wait to the finished end result and it. I think it looks fine. I made a paper pattern with tracing paper and gridded it gridded it gridded it oh, yeah, gridded is there it. such a thing as gridded it yeah it is now uh yeah put all the lines on it already so lines once... on it not gridded it <laughs> so once it was uh, actually gridded. on the on the um Grid. boat, boat it was uh it was already there So that's that bit finished 
so all the blue and green's on i'll give that a little bit of a sand uh, ready to paint over that and we can take the tape off for the coach lines so that that is still it looks messy but that is just still the undercoat um, and that'll be painted on so once this is off we then and it's all dry we mask up again to paint the coach lines We've got as far as that. Lots of bits to be touched up on this side. Little bits that have like leaked through. Fingerprints, Sadie's fingerprints. Um, and little bits of leak through. So um, they'll all be done after when it's properly dry and all the bits are done. Right, get a mask and take this one up now. So I've done that one, but I know it looks really complicated, but I'm just concentrating on the green. And to do that, and it's easier to do one diamond at a time rather than waste your tape going across. So because I want that same distance. I'm just putting a tape down the middle that I will peel off. That's not dirt, that's paint by the way in my nails. <laughs> Black paint. Yeah, so 
just take the middle one away. Then I know I've got that tape. And I use that same piece of tape for the next one. Oops. Oops. A mistake. Bit. So it's quite easy. To do and quite quick to do really. That's another diamond done. So I'm not bothered about all these bits going over the blue because that's not going to be painted. The only bit I'm co concentrating on is this, these lines there. And I'll push, I'll use a blade edge to push these down because it just seeps under as the tape crosses. And I'll carry on doing it and show you when it's finished. Yeah, I know. It looks a bit crazy at the moment, but they're all on and I've just started to fill the gaps in with white. Um, it looks a lot more complicated than what it was. It looks like I've had the back off my telly. <laughs> yeah, mm. but and they was the only little bits that I needed to, to actually get, but it was easier to do it the way I'd done, I think. So three days later, these have had four coats and they can now be peeled off. It was a bit like a game of Jenga. Um, I had to work out what pieces I could put, pull off first. The, um, Didn't peel off the others off. Yeah, <laughs> that weren't underneath any of the others. So, uh, yeah.
and finished. Um, just a few little bits again that have uh, seeped through that just need to be touched up once it's all dry. Um, I wait till it's properly properly dry and then I can sort of like sand little bits and little bits flick off as well. So um, yeah, that's all that needs to be done now. So they're all, all done. That black line needs to be a little bit thicker. I think everybody will agree as well that Ailey has got a well a different eye but a nice eye for detail and things like this have really made our boat look a bit different oh, i'm thank chuffed you. with it yeah really oh. chuffed with it yeah brilliant